Lenny, you are now, I think you are 40 years old or yeah. 30, 40, 40 years old. Do you like to play the, the joking man, the, the other crowd? He can't play any other. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so no. you are growing older now and isn't it to the point now that no, you... No more jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's important that you don't lose the sense of humour. You, you, you couldn't continue this without a sense How of humour. How do you like all those real serious bands? You know, like King Diamond. I mean, he's dressed up like that, right? And he's serious. <laughs> Imagine that. I mean, that he's in trouble, you know what I mean? He, people like that are in real fucking trouble, you know? I mean, these people that sing about black magic and they believe it. I mean, I'm sure they go home and read from the black book, you know, and shit. I'm sure they collect all these things like Alistair Crowley and they go to the British Museum and read about it and, and do practice like rituals at home with, with dust and fucking stars on the floor and I'm sure they do, you know, some of them. And those people are really fucked up. Actually we did big in America with, with Merciful Fate. Yeah, yeah. it's never happens to James and, uh, Bond, does it? What was it with them? I'm just trying to think of the, the story, they all blend into one eventually. I, I know, hope. I know. He, he drew a pentagram yes. outside of them. We got this gig in uh, where were we? Virginia Beach. Yeah? West Virginia anyway. That's right, on this beachfront thing in this place yeah. called yes. Bessie's, wasn't it? And uh, these two real old Jewish guys ran the place, right? And they wouldn't have fucking merciful <laughs> fate there for anything. They're not interested because all this black magic and shit. Yeah. And all the bones and <laughs> they said, he's not coming Chicken in here. Those motherfuckers ain't coming in here, you know. So they fired him off the gig, so he just does an excited. And I came out after the sound check, and by merciful fate's bus, in the sand, Pentacle. <laughs> Put a curse on the place. But it didn't work because we had a great show. <laughs> Unreal. I, I mean, I find that shit amusing. You don't find that amusing? I find it incredibly amusing. Human nature is so amusing, I can't stop laughing all the time really about it. So you're not taking drugs? Who isn't? You. You haven't got any, have you? No. Well, I can't take any then, can I? No, I don't take many drugs, no. I still take occasional drugs, but all I take is, uh, all I've taken for eight years now is speed and a bit of alcohol. That's all I do. And that's only when we really, when I have to jump up and be, hey, everybody, we just drove for 21 hours together. You know? <laughs> all right. Hey, we love to see you tonight. Let me everybody say, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, you like doing that, you know what I mean? You've been on the bus for hours. And hours. So I take that because it's a working drug, you know. In, in fact, if doctors prescribed, more speed on prescription, you wouldn't get all this cocaine shit going on. You know that? That's really true. Yeah. So, Lenny, with your age of 40, you could Yes, be, I'm 40 now. You, you could be the father of all these guys who are visiting your show. It couldn't be as he's 36. <laughs> yes? Oh. And if... Would you... Uh, I'm the father of a couple of them, probably. <laughs> <laughs> would you allow your son uh, to go to a motor show? My son has his own band. Yes, yes, I know, but if you are a, a, yes, a normal course. father... Why not? Why not? How because can I relate to that? How can I think like a normal father? <laughs> You're the wrong person I can ask, but... Why? Because um, when, when I was my mother this can, age... My oh, mother goes oh. to, to motor and shows. So if my oh, mother can go, you. if my mother can come to motor and shows, I'm not sure. So cool. When I was in the age of 16, 17, I was visiting the first motor shows here in Germany. And in comparison to the other shows I was at this time, Saxons, uh, Jews, Freeze, the motor shows were the most violent ones. Post. 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 You mean in the audience? Yeah, in the audience. I can't understand why. No, no, can I? I? I can understand why, actually. It's because the people who are violent at the shows think that they should be. That's why they go to a show, and, and the more violent the music is, right? They so think why they do have I to think be violent. They think so. I don't. Well, that. I, but I know that they do. But only the Motorhead fans. No, not only the Motorhead fans. When I got to a to a Saxon concert, there was there was no no quiet well, audience. Saxon doesn't really, you know, make you go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the difference? <laughs> uh, I, Anything that, right? I mean, you couldn't call Saxon wild, could you? No, right. not any longer. But some years ago. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, something that's really wild. Like, I mean, we went to America last year, and America's going nuts. And the audiences are now nuts. 
slam dancing. You ever seen yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That scares island. me. Yeah. There's nothing that scare me. But to see there was this girl, the guy with his girlfriend, you know, just standing watching the show. This fucking guy jumped off the stage on his elbow, he smashed right in the face, and there's yeah. chicks, blood everywhere, and teeth, you know. That's fucking horrible. It's stupid. It's also here in Germany, when you got in the smaller club, so many stage divers climbing up the stage. Oh, well, they don't climb up on me, pal. Because <laughs> I knock him straight fucking off. But if you are, you are gigging, uh, there's, I think there's no possibility to climb up the stage because there's a space for oh, the photo the man. Oh, they, they get, get up there. there. They, yeah? get, they get up there. He's determined enough. Listen, in Birmingham Odeon, this is years ago, <laughs> Phil Taylor, because he was very small, yeah. we bought him, uh, I don't know if you have them over here, I don't think you have them, garden gnomes. What? You, you know what a gnome is? It's a like, yeah. goblin, a gremlin, yeah. you know, like, with a little red hat on, a barrow or a fishing rod, and people put them in the gardens, yeah. you know? You know the things I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we bought six of those and put them around his drum riser, see? Because it was his birthday, so we gave him gnomes, you know? <laughs> Because it was stumping, we used to call it, no? stumping. <laughs> so, in Birmingham Odeon, it's a big stage, I mean, it's a deep stage, and then there's an orchestra pit, which is real deep and wide, and then there's like a space before the seats start of uh, 20 feet, and there's all kids there. From somewhere, this kid appeared, he went straight across the orchestra pit, onto the stage, ran across, grabbed him, <laughs> and legged it back, he went, oh, let me, and left him, and he gone again. I swear to God, he was run out and he gone. Now you tell me how the fuck he did it. I don't know how he did it. I couldn't do it. Save my life. I couldn't do it out of a fire. That guy went. Well, at least he didn't hit me with the garden. He wasn't violent. But you can't do nothing about people who think violence is funny. Except wait until they get the shit kicked out of them. You know, it always happens to violent people because they're always trying to be, you know, top dog, right? Sooner or later, another dog <laughs> you know, and kicks the shit out of them. So then they learn that maybe it's not such a good idea, you know, to go around flexing your fucking yeah. muscles all the time. But when you're young, you always want to be violent, you know. So which crowd do you laugh? You laugh the more quiet one, or I like people to go crazy, but you can go concert without freaking hitting anybody. But no real violence. I don't like people who hit other people for no reason. If you got a reason to hit somebody, then go ahead and punch them if you want. But don't, yeah. don't just hit somebody standing there, you know. And don't make a, don't make a big tough fucking thing out of it because it's not tough to to hit people. That's not clever. That's just a lucky punch. What's clever is if you can argue with them about what is the difference between you and win. That's tough. Yeah. Because that means you have to know something and be intelligent. See, look at it. You see, you're here interviewing us, right? You're yeah. having a great time, aren't you? Yeah. I'm laughing your bollocks up. Yeah. You've got a drink in your yeah. hand, right? It's much more fun than interviewing yeah. Celtic Frost. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, boom, warriors, you know, like bullshit. <laughs> Tom Warrior uh, wanted me because I made a bad review about him. <laughs> and he asked, he said another interview when one day he will meet me and then he comes with an axe and kill me. An axe, eh? Huh? Yeah. You're going to walk him out the street with a fucking axe, yeah. right? <laughs> What are you carrying the axe for, son? I'm so going to kill a guy from this paper. <laughs> if you walk about with an axe in his head, then we'll know he's uh, at the end of you in the end. It's Tom G warrior, though, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's G stand for? Gabriel. Gesundheit. Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel? Gabriel. Tom Gabriel warrior. Yeah. There's a thing for you. Oh, never mind. Archangel. Archangel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Beam makes you dream. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. so, does. so let me, I've read another interview that you plan to do. Yes, of course. To do a single with Samantha Fox. No, no she I was going to do it. No, no. she, she already did a single. Yeah, no. What, what happened to this plan? Well, that was during the time of bronze. Couldn't record anything for anybody. One moment. Just changing your reel, him. <laughs> okay. We couldn't record anything anyway because if the... If I wanted to record with Samantha, it would have been a, on bronze then. They would have owned it, wouldn't they? Yeah, so the I didn't want them to do it. So anyway, she's all right now. Anyway, she didn't need to do a single with me no more. I think uh, she makes quite good pop records, you know? Considering that everybody, she hasn't got a voice again, so she can't do nothing else. She's just an idiot in the paper. Yeah. Tell, she's not to tell It's really upsetting, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's great. Driving, it's driving them fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Because she's really nice, you know, Sam? Yeah. She's really a sweet chick. Yeah. I mean, right. She, she you met her already? Oh yeah, hundreds of times. She doesn't come on with all this sex thing at all. You know, she walks around in like butcher, you know, she doesn't stick her tits out like here, you know. A lot of those chicks from uh, from the modeling thing, the, the page three thing. Oh, gas control. Cool. Right. Cheers, everybody.
happy father comes home in a good mood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>